What I have here are the watercolor grounds that Daniel Smith makes. And what a watercolor ground does, it creates a paintable surface that you as the watercolorist can put on anything. Um, I could put this onto wood, I could put it onto plastic, I could put it onto glass. Whatever I might want to paint on, is, once I put this on top of it, is now gonna become a paintable surface. And what I have here is an example. Um, this is the ground as it's put onto a mat board in titanium white, buff titanium, black, and transparent. Transparent, what that does is anything I put it on, I can see what's below it. I can make that smooth by using a brush or using a sponge, or I can actually make it rough and give it some, some texture, any texture that I want to have. The white is very interesting that the titanium white can be used as a whiteout for mistakes. In this sample right here, what I'm showing is I used a staining color and I didn't see that, and so now I can't pick it up. What I can do is I can get my, my titanium ground and I can lay it over the top and wait 24 hours. And if I still see any of the red, I can do one more layer and take it completely out and now paint over the top of it. So it's, it's a quick way to fix mistakes. And that's a secondary benefit. The real benefit of the grounds are now you can do what any um, of the other mediums were capable of doing, that is using watercolor in three dimensions.